Fly News 10 at 6. Hello, Acadiana. Thanks for joining us today at 6. Lafayette's Mayor President Monique Blanco Boule says it has been over 30 years since the project concept, rather, of the I-49 connector came to light. News 10's Rodrigo Taylor explains the importance of the project and where we stand now. The Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development says the I-49 Lafayette connector is a critical transportation link for Lafayette and the state as a whole. In the early 60s, they built the Evangeline Thruway and really killed an economic uh, commercial part of town as well as a residential part of town. And we really haven't seen reinvestment si since the 60s. And so what we have is a blighted corridor that really does need reinvestment. But it's hard to reinvest when we don't understand the, when this project will be built. Colton Senegal, a resident, says the project is long overdue. It's presented to us and then the next thing they say, oh, we've got to do survey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got to do another survey. Mm -hmm. Every survey it takes, what, five years? Yeah. So look how many five years it's been, it's been back. Lafayette Mayor President Monique Blanco Boule says the project will extend I-49 from I-10 to the Lafayette Regional Airport. It will complete a major energy and trade corridor to the nation and function as a critical hurricane evacuation route. It's been a lengthy process and like anything that we really care about in Lafayette, we've had a lot of passion. <laughs> a lot of different inputs, but I think we are, we've we landed in a place where we all can get behind it and really push forward. DOTD says they are planning for a public meeting to take place in April. In Lafayette, Rodrigo Taylor, KLFY News 10.